Hello everybody, um, so here's a little quick InDesign tutorial covering all the basics so you can make yourself a little wedding photography booklet. Now this is a template that I've downloaded from printed.com, um, I want my booklet to be um, this size, so that's what that's the one that I downloaded. Um, it explains here what all the colours and everything mean, so you want all your images to go over the pink bit just to make sure they don't get cut off, and you want everything within this black and orangey area so nothing goes outside of there. Um, to what, so what it looks like in real time, this is my booklet over here, this is my front page. So if you can see there's like the red line and the black line and I've got this purple line in here which I make sure that all my text is inside. Um, I think that's somewhere in your uh, settings up here. So when you start a new document, if you don't do it from the template, it's, it's all in here. But from the template it's just the easiest way. Just make sure everything's inside there. Um, now, so if you want to get your pages together, you want to go to Window and Pages, and it brings up this little fella down here. That's all my pages. So you want to add a new page, click Insert Pages. Uh, you want it at the beginning, fine, or how many you want, and it's added another page in here. Obviously, this is not going to be part of my actual booklet because my booklet's done, and this is my front page, which I want single. Um, so yeah, your front page is single, then you've got all these spreads, then your back page is single all the way down here on the other side. I think you can make it a left and a right somewhere up here. But yeah, that's worth playing with because I'm not entirely sure I can't how I did that. <laughs> Very useful so far. Um, so this is your blank page, you want to put a picture in, you can either just go straight to your photos and just pop, hover over there, then you click back into InDesign and it will give you, you can see your picture there, so you drag it as big as you want it to be, like that. Now, click on the black one to select the image. As you can see, my box isn't quite big enough, so there we go, get it over the red bit, there we go. Now, unlike Photoshop, the picture doesn't move at that point, so you want to press this little button up here, to make it fill the box nicely. Uh, and if you want to move the picture around within the box, you click this one, gives you a brown frame, then you can move the picture within the frame. And make sure you're not holding the brown one, got the brown one highlighted by mistake sometimes because it can be really frustrating, you can't work out why it's not moving properly. Now, so there's my picture, I want to add some text on top, click on the text, Make a box, write some stuff. Let's highlight that and make it white. So this little T up here will make it white. Let's make it bigger. Click on the 12 and I'm pressing the up key, the up arrow to make it bigger. Change the font. Da da da, make it even bigger. There we go. Now, we might want to put like outlines and all sorts of things on it. That's all up here. Um, center, left and right, there, so that's all nice, and you might want to put a box behind it because um, sometimes your background's too messy, so you put a little box over it, you make your box, say, black, and then you want to fade it a bit, this is 100% bit up here, fade it a bit there, and now you'll see that unfortunately the text is behind the box, so you right click on the box, go to arrange and send backwards. If you set, press centre back, it will take you. It will put the box behind the actual picture, which you don't really want. Um, I've also here got some rounded corners going on, which I quite like. So you can have all these different rounded corners, and this one is how rounded it goes. Whee! So that's nice. Yes. So that's pretty simple, really. You can put another text box on top of it, and whoopsie, another text box there if you want. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to get rid of these bits, so I'm just going to highlight that everything on the page and just back arrow. There. So, over here we have a spread, and that is done by just moving these pages like that. You can move all the pages easily like that. Now, next. So, you have all your pages and it's really handy to be able to see what's on the outside, so you make sure all your pictures are over the black line and into the red line. And if you go to this button down here, hold it down and go to preview, that's what your book's actually going to look like. 
I'm just going to get rid of this page here, it's confusing me. Delete. Okay. Now, so you want to make sure that all your images that you're putting in there are high resolution, otherwise it's going to look a bit pixelated. To check that, so your InDesign by default will be on display performance on typical, which you can see looks really, really horrible. That makes it a bit slower, but it's nice to look at it on high quality display, because that's how it's going to look. And that's how it looks. I've kept everything within, let's have a look. Everything's within these purple lines to make sure it doesn't go into the, uh, in, get chopped off and get into the uh, spine. Now, here we have another thing. So we've got a big text box here and I've done, I did one text box like that. I drew it in and I wrote all my text, but my text went way further than the text box would allow. So when you when you've so I'll get rid of this one over here and the one beyond and the one beyond. When I've done that, I've only got this text box but too much text. So you get a little red square cross thing. You click on that and then you will draw another text box and it will put the text into that box. There'll be another red box. You click on that, you draw another box and so on. And on. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So that's how you make your text flow nicely. Another thing is if you have images like this, if you put that image in there, your text will be underneath it, which is really annoying. So you want to go again to Window, Text Wrap. And that will come up over here. You want to click on this little box here, and make it a couple of millimeters, and it will wrap all your text around it very nicely. Now, you can make, change the color of all your text up here. You can change fonts and sizes and all that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything more useful with the text. Uh, no, that's about it really. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's way, way easier than Photoshop. Uh, like the boxes are nice and easy to move. It, it snaps everything nicely as well, like it will, um, if you want it to be in line, it will give you a nice little green line to show you that it's in line with the picture below. Easy. Yeah. So that's it really, and have a look at that. All nice and previewed. You want to make sure there's nothing in the in the spine, so no faces in the spine or anything. Yeah. So to export, we it's loading. I've got it on high quality display, so it's getting a bit slow. We want to go to export, and then printed.com want a print PDF like this. Um, <laughs> there have been a few booklets. Let's do test, save, and then print. Printing.com will tell you, but I don't know which one, which settings they want exactly, but they will tell you. It might be that they want spreads or pages. I'm not entirely sure. Look up what they say or whatever printer you use. Um, and this bit is the important bit for them. They definitely want bleed marks and they might say something like three millimeters for the for the bleed, just to make sure that they know exactly where to cut. But again, they will tell you, and they'll also tell you to use one of these. I can't remember which one it is, but they'll ask you to use one of those. So yeah, just go with their settings, then you click export, and it's pretty quick to export, and that should be it. So yeah, any questions, let me know. Um, this is my first ever screen recording video tutorial, so I may have missed a whole lot of stuff. So let me know, I can read it or add some comments or whatever. Cool, good luck.